Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, a nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and to your vitality and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle it really is no miracle at all it is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program we can help you do that we welcome your calls on the bright side 855-660-4261 is our number. That's 855-660-4261. If you have questions about the longevity products, ingredients, formulation, skin care, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation or share a success story, we love hearing success stories on the bright side. You can give us a call at 855-660-4261. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask them about my personal favorite longevity product, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder. You add to water and drink. You can also ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee. You can enjoy all the benefits associated with having your own business, tax write-off benefits, and you can write off your home office, write off your mileage, write off your samples. You can also get your products at the wholesale price. And, of course, you can make a little bit of money selling longevity products as well. You can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Or you can click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. If you want to help longevity feed the Philippines, you can click on the Help Now link on the upper right-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com for you guys who are participating in the longevity in the uh, if you have a longevity business participating in the longevity program you can also get your qualifying points by clicking on the help now link and purchasing a meal or a week's worth of meals or a month's worth of meals whatever you want to do uh, you can find out all about it by clicking on the help now link at brightsideben.com of course the folks at uh, on the brightside ben phone team can tell you all about it as well at 866-735-2470 all right, we are talking protein. We're talking uh, protein and its relevance to general health, general building, general repair and growth, and also as it regards to bone health. Protein represents, as we've said so many times, the stars of the biochemical drama. They're the Brad Pitts, the Tom Cruises, the George Clooney's, the uh, uh, Julia Roberts, if you like, female stars, whatever. They're the female, they're the stars of the biochemical dramas, all other nutrients. Vitamins, minerals, fats, sugars, plant nutrients, all of them, as important as they are, represent bit players, represent extras in the biochemical drama of the body. Proteins come in three sizes. As we said, you've got the little tiny building blocks of proteins. Those are called amino acids. We're going to be talking a lot about amino acids here in the coming days. Amino acids are technically not proteins. They're components of proteins. You've got strings of amino acids that form peptides. That's the next size of protein. These peptides are best thought of as a, a necklace made up of pearls. The pearls would be individual amino acids. The entire necklace would be a peptide. A peptide necklace can have anywhere from 2 to 50 or even 100 pearls, pearl amino acids. Once our peptide pearl necklace amino acid chain becomes large enough, we refer to it as a polypeptide or a protein. We're going to talk about 
individual amino acids here in a little bit. We'll probably get to that in the next, well, maybe next week or so. They all have interesting properties, and many of them can be said to be therapeutic or medicinal. We've been talking about peptides here for a couple of weeks. We spent time talking about albumin. We talked about enzymes. We talked about peptides for the skin. And today I want to start talking about what I consider to be the body's most important peptide, especially when it comes to healing. This stuff is super important for fighting cancer. It's important for disease fighting, for detoxifying drugs, for detoxifying really all poisons. This stuff's got skin health benefits, especially for acne and especially for hyperpigmentation, dark spots, melasma. Melasma is a fancy way of saying hyperpigmentation or dark spots. This stuff's important for brain health. It's important for nervous system health. And this peptide is also a key player in maintaining the health of the bone. Remember, we're talking osteoporosis here, and all the peptides that we're talking about all have relevance to bone health, building strong bones. But before we get into this important peptide, I want to talk a little bit about antioxidants. This peptide is a very powerful antioxidant. In fact, this peptide may be the most important antioxidant in the entire biological system. Because this powerful stuff, this anti-inflammatory peptide, works via antioxidation, and because really lots of nutrients, vitamins, minerals, plant nutrients, act like antioxidants. We talk about antioxidants all the time. If you're listening to any kind of healthcare program or nutritional program or reading health magazines or newsletters, you're going to see about you're going to read about antioxidants. But what exactly is an antioxidant? What exactly is oxidation? How do antioxidants work to keep us younger, to keep us healthier, to prevent disease, to prevent cancer? I think a quick review of this whole idea of antioxidation and and oxidation is in order. Albumin, by the way, we talked about albumin last week, is a very important antioxidant for the blood, even though we didn't mention that too much. Albumin can help protect the blood vessels, the inside part of blood vessels, from oxidation. So what, what the heck is oxidation anyway? Well, oxidation is best thought of as rusting. And in fact, what we call rusting, a rusty nail or a rusty car or a rusty piece of metal is actually an oxidation reaction. A rusty nail is an oxidized nail. A rusty car bumper is a oxidized car bumper. A rusty fence is an oxidized fence. And to protect all of these metals from rusting, you can use chemicals. You can use phosphoric acid, for example. That will prevent oxidation from occurring. You can use different kinds of chemicals, and and manufacturers of metal products will use these chemicals to prevent oxidation from occurring. Well, there are biological mechanisms. There are biological or biochemicals that can do the same thing. But in order to understand how these things work, we've got to understand a little bit about the chemistry of oxygen, because it is oxygen, indeed, that is the major, although not the only, cause of oxidation. So to put it simply, to put it basically, All stuff, all matter, all things are made up of little things. All stuff is made up of atoms. These little atoms are little pieces of energy, and these little atoms have little things flying around them. Those little things flying around them are technically called electrons. So you got stuff, and we'll just use metal. We'll use a rusty nail. We'll use a nail as an example. So you got a nail. It's made up of iron atoms. Those iron atoms all have little pieces of electricity flowing around them. Those little pieces of electricity are called electrons. So you got an iron atom, and you got electrons. These electrons, these little pieces of electricity. That's all an electron is, by the way. As high, high tech high tech as it might sound and as intimidating as it might sound, an electron is just a little piece of electricity, and all atoms have little pieces of electricity flying around them. Now, in order for an atom to be happy and complete and satisfied, it has to have two electrons, technically more, but if you're a biochemist out there, bear with me. Uh, We're just going to be simplistic here. All atoms have to have a pair of electrons flying around them. Then they're happy. they got a pair of electrons. they got a couple of electrons flying around them. However, some things in nature have an ability to steal little pieces of energy. They can rip off an electron. So you got a happy little iron atom. It's got two electrons circling around it. But some things in nature can come along and rip off, steal a little piece of electricity. This stealing off of electricity is where all the problems begin. And the most common cause of of this ripping off of electricity is oxygen, hence the term oxidation. Oxidation is nothing more than a description of a ripping off of a piece of electricity, an electron from an atom of iron in our case, or any kind of atom. We'll continue this when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 
on the Genesis Communication Network. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from the Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 Eight three two six. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. Do you know how much the dollar has lost in its value against other currencies in the last 90 days? Ever think about how inflation will change your life, your savings, your retirement plans? Remember inflation in Zimbabwe, Argentina, the Weimar Republic? Put another way, who cares if your investments go up 10%, but you lose 40% of your purchasing power? Gold is the only monetary asset as no one else's liability. Gold still buys the same amount of stuff it always did. Gold does not require trust in a third party. You can possess it in your hand. You can take it with you. Gold is real money. Gold is honest money. My name is Daniel Larson from Midas Resources. To find out how you can protect your savings and roll over your IRA funds into precious metals accounts, please call me at 800-686-2237, extension 134. That's 800-686-2237, extension 134. 800-686-2237, extension 134. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. We also have a blog, pharmacistben.com which we update regularly with news stories and blog posts. Got a couple coming up. Uh, oh, it should be up today, actually, sometime today. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear us talk about on the program, recommend on the program, or advertise on the Bright Side, you can purchase them off of PharmacistBen.com or BrightSideBen.com. You can also call 
The Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. All right, so if you know anything about nutrition, if you like health, health news, you follow health news, you read health magazines, you're going to hear about antioxidants. But what exactly are antioxidants? What exactly is oxidation? How does it all relate to health? And how does it relate to our next peptide, which we're going to be talking about here, uh, probably get to it, hopefully we'll get to it later today, or if not today, we'll start talking about tomorrow. We've got to understand a little bit about what this idea of oxidation is. So basically, you've got uh, atoms, which make everything up, atoms of, uh, say, of our, of our rusty nail or hypothetical rusty nail are made up of iron. These iron atoms are surrounded with little pieces of energy, two little pieces of energy, technically more, but... For our purposes here today, we'll say two little pieces of energy called electrons. Things in nature can come along and rip off an electron, and thus you have an atom with an empty space. This atom with an empty space is where all the problems begin. Now, oxygen is the most important thing that can rip off little pieces of electricity, but other things can do it too. Chlorine can do it. Fluoride can do it. Many prescription drugs can do it. Environmental toxins can do it. One of the most common oxidizing agents... One of the most common substances or or elements that can rip off little pieces of energy is the sun. Sunlight is... Uh, 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 sunlight is a powerful oxidizing agent. What we call a sunburn is really nothing more than oxidation of proteins. That is, little uh, uh, those little pieces of energy that surround protein atoms get ripped off, just like a little pieces of energy that surround iron atoms in a nail get ripped off. And the net effect is a sunburn. A sunburn is like a, a, a the skin's version of a rusty nail. A rusty nail is a, a nail's version of a sunburn. A rusty nail is a sunburnt nail in essence. It all involves the ripping off of the little pieces of electricity. Even if you don't get a sunburn, ultraviolet radiation from the sun can still cause an oxidation of protein uh, proteins in the lower levels of the skin, proteins like collagen, and lead to wrinkles and accelerated aging. That classic wrinkled, pruny look that people get when they've been out in the sun too much is a classic sign that little pieces of energy have been ripped off of protein atoms or protein molecules in the lower levels of the skin. So an atom that has been oxidized, an atom that has had an electron ripped off of it is an unhappy atom. It is a dissatisfied atom. It's incomplete. It has an empty space where it used to have a little piece of electricity. It has an empty space that's caused by some kind of agent, whether it's oxygen or chlorine or a prescription drug or a plant toxin or the sun has come along and ripped off that little piece of ele- little piece of electricity, left an empty space, and now you've got an unhappy, dissatisfied atom. Atoms don't want empty spaces. They want all of their spaces filled up with electricity, filled up with little pieces of electricity called electrons. This unhappy atom will now do anything it needs to do to complete itself, to fill up this empty space with another piece of electricity. It will do whatever it takes, including stealing a little piece of electricity from another atom, stealing a little piece of electricity from a happy atom. Of course, this is going to now complete the empty space on our original atom, but now you've got an empty space in a second atom. Even worse, if our original atom, our original unhappy atom with the empty space, finds a little piece of electricity on a valuable piece of tissue in the body, like a cell membrane, it's going to steal it from there, and now you potentially have a defective cell membrane. If our original atom with the empty space manages to find electrons, little little pieces of electricity on DNA, it's going to steal it from the DNA. And now you might have a happy atom, but you're going to have an unhappy atom on your DNA. This can lead to mutations. And indeed, this is one of the ways that oxidants and solar radiation produce cancer. The technical term for these atoms with the unpaired electrons, these unhappy atoms that have had their little piece of electricity stolen, these, the technical term for these, these atoms with empty spaces where little pieces of electricity used to be is free radicals. A free radical is the technical term for an atom that has had its little piece of electricity ripped off of it. A free radical is an unhappy atom that's got an empty space where it used to have a little piece of electricity, and these free radicals are one of, if not the, leading cause of aging, biochemical breakdown, broken and dysfunctional tissues and organs and cells, and cancer itself. 
Now, because oxygen and chlorine and drugs and the sun and, and other oxidizing chemicals are obviously a part of the world we live in, they're obviously unavoidable. You can't get away from oxygen. You can't get away from the sun. And unfortunately, you can't get away from chlorine and fluoride either. Because these oxidizing agents, these, these, uh, uh, these elements that steal electricity and leave atoms unpaired and produce free radicals are part of our world, nature has had to come up with a way of plugging up these empty spaces, of filling up the holes that have been left by oxidizing chemicals and ultraviolet radiations, had to come up with a way of contributing electrons to plug up the empty space of a free radical before that free radical can go and steal electrical energy from cell membranes or from DNA or from proteins or from other places. Nature's had to come up with a way to contribute electrical energy to fill up these empty spaces in a free radical, thereby neutralizing it or, as we say in the business, quenching it, completing it before it can steal a piece of electricity from another atom or cell membrane or DNA. These atoms that contribute pieces of electricity these atoms that nature has come up with that can contribute electricity to plug up, plug up the empty spaces on oxidized atoms, have, these atoms have a loose connection to their electrons. They can contribute their electrons. They can donate their electrons into these empty spaces. They have a loose connection that allows their, elect, their electrons to readily hop off and fill the empty space on our free radical. This is a neutralizing reaction. This is a quenching reaction. And we call these atoms that contribute electricity to free radicals, to, to, to filling up these holes, we call these atoms, we call these elements antioxidants. That's what an antioxidant is. An antioxidant is an atom that can contribute electricity to fill up the space on an atom that has lost its electron, that has been had its electron ripped off by oxygen or the sun or, or prescription drugs or, or anything really. So an antioxidant is an element or an atom that can contribute electricity to fill up, quench, neutralize a free radical. We call antioxidants are nothing more than molecules that contribute electrical energy that fill up the empty space of an atom that has had its electron pulled off of it, thereby quenching it neutralizing it and preventing it from attacking and stealing electrons from more valuable atoms. And fortunately, the natural world is filled with these antioxidant substances and they're found in all living systems. All right, got a few more things to say about antioxidants and then we'll take your phone calls. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Our number is 855-660-4261. We'll be back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Shop in your underwear. Get prepared in your pajamas. Get food for camping from the comfort of your own bed. Whatever you do, get in on Freeze Dry Guy's Bean Blowout Sale. There's no better bargain on beans. Dehydrated small red chili beans, pinto beans, and baby lima beans. With a super long shelf life, these healthy beans are a big time score for emergency preparedness or outdoor activities. Bean Blowout cases of six number 10 cans for just 97 bucks. 
only $97 plus free shipping. No need to gas up and go. Shop online now at freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. This super sale runs now all the way through Cyber Monday, December 2nd, while supplies last. Freeze Dry Guys, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you buy now, the more you feel smart. On sale only at freezedryguy.com. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. LaSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LaSig smokes the competition with fast free same day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a Vapriot at LaSig.com or call 870-525-1440 870-525-1440 LaSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. Back on the bright side, our number today is 855-660-4261. Try to get on board early, and we'll get to as many calls as we can. We're talking about antioxidants. I hope I cleared, hope I didn't confuse that, that, it, that matter, because it's so, so important. We hear about antioxidants all the time, but we never hear exactly what they are. You can always tell that there's something, that something has been oxidized, that it's had an, a little piece of electricity, an electron ripped off of it by a color change, usually some kind of darkening. If you've ever cut open an apple and left it sitting out, in the air, let it uh, exposed to oxygen. You notice it turns brown. That's a sign of oxidation. Rusty nail, sign of oxidation. That color change. Same thing in the skin. When you have a dark spot on the skin, whether it's secondary to inflammation or whether it's secondary to 
um, estrogen or cortisol, stress hormone, female hormone, all of these are signs of oxidation. That a little piece of electricity has been ripped off of uh, either a protein or an atom of iron or whatever, what, uh, something in, in your apple, whatever has turned dark, it's turned dark in response to oxygen, ripping off a little piece of electricity. That's called an oxidation reaction. If you want to keep that apple from turning brown, you squeeze some lemon on top of the apple. What does that do? The lemon contains a very, very powerful antioxidant, one of the most important antioxidants in all of nature, vitamin C. Vitamin C's got a loose connection to its, to its, uh, its electricity, to its electrons. It's spinning around. It's the vitamin C atoms. And that electricity can jump off and contribute itself or can donate itself to the oxidized, the ripped off electricity, thereby quenching uh, quenching that free radical atom. Albumin, as we said, is an antioxidant. It can contribute electricity, quenching free radicals. The B complex are antioxidants. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. Vitamin A is an antioxidant. Vitamin K is an antioxidant. All of these things can contribute electrical energy to an oxidized atom, thereby quenching it, neutralizing it, preventing it from stealing an electron from a DNA or from a cell membrane or from other things that can cause damage. Plants and vegetation, because they're out in the sun, have developed lots and lots of antioxidant. And that's one of the reasons why you want to be eating lots of vegetables, eating lots of plant material. That's why the bulk of your calories should be coming from vegetables. Now, I'm not a vegetarian per se, but I'm telling you, the bulk of our calories need to be coming from vegetation, not fruits either. Not fruits. I heard a guy on... Uh, I heard a guy in a movie I was watching yesterday, a doctor, Dr. Joel Furman. Uh, he's written a lot about vegetarianism, and uh, I'm not a big fan of Dr. Furman, but he was talking about, uh, he's in this movie, I forgot the name of the movie. Oh, the movie was called uh, The Search for the Perfect Diet. It's actually kind of a good movie. I got the DVD, I was watching it. And he's talking about fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. The problem, when, whenever you hear somebody talking about fruits and vegetables, you should immediately consider that this person doesn't know what they're talking about because fruits are not the same as vegetables. Fruits are completely different than vegetables. The only, the only thing fruits and vegetables have in common is the fact that they both grow from the ground. They're both vegetation. But fruits are high in sugar. And the only nutrients, the basic nutrients, I should say, the bulk of nutrients that are in fruits are found in the peels. On the other hand, vegetables contain nutrients spread throughout them. And you want to be making sure that you're eating as many vegetables as you can. And you want to make sure that you're eating fruit very, very, very carefully. If somebody's telling you to eat lots of fruits and vegetables, you might want to consider that they're not tremendously nutritionally savvy because of the big difference between fruits and vegetables. Anyway, vegetables... And fruits, the peels of fruits, the outside part of fruits contain lots of these antioxidants, and that's one of the reasons why you want to make sure that you're getting as many of your, as much of your calories as possible from vegetables. All right, I've got a few more things I want to say about oxidation and antioxidation, and then we'll talk about the body's most important antioxidant, most powerful antioxidant. It's made in the body. It is a peptide, and it's something that you all want to know about, especially if you're interested in anti-aging or if you have any kind of health issue, most of which involves some kind of oxidation. We will do that tomorrow as we continue talking about peptides. Time to hit our phones. Our number is 855-660-4261. Let's go to Texas. Jason, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Dr. Ben. I just uh, wanted to uh, speak briefly about my mother. She, uh, I got her on the BTQ, which is really awesome. She feels really good about that. But her lower teeth are kind of starting to rot, and uh, that might deal with the anti uh, the oxidation that you're talking about. You mean the but, gums? Uh, you mean the gums, or you mean the gums, right? Uh, Not the teeth. It's her teeth. Her teeth are turning brown on either sides of her lower front teeth. Oh, and that's not um, good. I'm not I'm not quite sure what that was. I did I did uh, ask her to um, from what I heard. I was wondering if you could shine some light on this. Maybe uh, coconut oil. Uh, I I heard that spreading coconut oil uh, in no. your mouth, uh, like extra virgin uh, coconut oil, will kind of re uh, remove like bacteria and stuff from the teeth and and well, into the co coconut oil. Coconut oil has got some antibacterial properties, that's for sure. But I don't know if I consider. A browning teeth. Now it's not staying. You're talking about it's literally rotting the teeth. Uh, yeah, they're, they they seem to be rotting. It, it's getting worse every time I steer. They're a little more brown on either side of the teeth. They're kind of closing in on the teeth there. So. And she's not a smoker. She's not a smoker. She is. She was on the Atkins diet for a long time. I told her she needs to stop doing that. She was eating a lot of red meat, and she says that she's her digestive system is working a lot better now that she's not eating so much red meat. But now, her does teeth she have seem to be? Yeah. Is she on any? Uh, 
is she on any antibiotics or anything like that? And that doesn't no. usually happen in adults, but sometimes in kids it can happen. I, I don't know what to tell you with teeth turning brown. If you're sure, if you're sure it's not uh, staining, it shouldn't. You know, poor dental hygiene may make her teeth rot, but it have to be really, really bad. Does she have a history? Does her family history of of, uh, of bad teeth? Anything like that? Uh, not, uh, not, not that I'm aware of. I think that they're all very healthy on her side of the family. They, um, 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 she has had, um, I don't know if you could, uh, a problem with the heart, uh, kind of manifest itself in a, in a condition. No, it would, that would affect the gums, but I don't know if that would, that would affect the tooth. The most likely cause of tooth discoloration that doesn't have anything to do with staining is going to be prescription drugs. There are prescription medications that can do it. Usually they'll turn yellow before they turn, turn brown. And then, uh, poor dental tech, uh, dental hygiene technique. Um, that'll do it as well. Usually the antibiotics um, and drugs will do it when teeth are developing, like in kids. I've never heard of it happening in adults, although I suppose anything's possible. Uh, but right. it does sound like she's got some decay issues. That's what, that would be what I would think. And if she does have a problem with tooth decay, then she's going to want to work with better hygiene techniques than laying off of sugar and, and foods that can contribute to dental decay. You're, if you're positive it's the teeth and not the gums, then you're probably looking at a decay issue, which means dental yeah. hygiene and staying off of foods that contribute to a, a dental decay. And that means obviously sugary kinds of foods, foods that are sticky and that can feed bacteria. Um, if, you, if she goes to the dentist, she's going to probably end up with fluoride, and that's not such a great idea. She may also want to consider calcium. Uh, calcification of the teeth, which comes from calcium in the, in the uh, saliva, is, uh, can help protect teeth. And also antibiotics, natural antibiotics that are found in the saliva, antimicrobial substances that are found in the saliva can contribute to dental protection. If she has any problems with her saliva, she's got dry skin, uh, if she's not getting enough protein, if she's not getting enough minerals, they're not in the saliva, uh, then that can contribute to dental decay as well. So I would, I would consider the brown teeth to be a decay issue. Number one, work on better hygiene. Number two, work on uh, any kind of uh, digestive issues that are impairing calcium absorption or protein absorption. Number three, make sure that she's getting calcium uh, and make sure that she's getting protein. And number four, uh, if she has any problems with dry mouth or uh, she's not producing enough saliva, then she may want to consider uh, working on salivary secretion using uh, using techniques for uh, improving salivary sec secretion things like xylitol gum can help in that regard uh, right. that's how i would be that's how i would be treating it thanks so much for your call jason uh, got to move on i'm pharmacist ben you're listening to the bright side got uh, a couple of lines open for you we'll get your calls when we come back from our break you were listening to the bright side we'll be back right after this You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U-Health.com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Thank you. 
what looks good under your Christmas tree and tastes even better? Big Berkey water filters. Yes, the gift of clean water. A gift that provides a great foundation for achieving good health in the lives of your loved ones. A Big Berkey water filter gives them protection from bacteria, heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, pesticides and herbicides, VOCs and more. And best of all, a Big Berkey water filter is a gift that lasts for many years with no additional investment. And that saves time and money in filter replacements that other water filters require and are even powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. As always, all orders over $50 are shipped free, and GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Order online at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com, spelled Big, B-E-R-K-E-Y, WaterFilters.com, or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-B-E-R-K-E-Y. Gift well this Christmas. Give a Big Berkey water filter. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Typhoon Haiyan. Death tolls top 5,200 after the storm smashed the Philippines. This holiday, let's not forget those 13 million homeless without food or clean water. Before we sit down to our bountiful tables, consider making a food donation. Longevity and Red Cross has made it possible to feed a family of four for $16.20. Go to GCNMinerals.com, help feed the Philippines, or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. We are back on the bright side. If you want to uh, help longevity feed the Philippines, head over to brightsideben.com. And on the upper right-hand corner of the page, you'll see a little link that says Help Now. You click on the Help Now link. And you'll get to a page that will uh, offer you opportunities to uh, five different opportunities to feed a family of four for a day, for a week, for two to three weeks, for three to four weeks, for five to six weeks. And if you're participating in the longevity program, the uh, money that you spend on helping feed the families, feed a family of four, will contribute to your qualifying points. You can find out all about that at BrightsideBend.com, or you can call the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470. Nigel in Canada, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hey, Ben. Thanks a lot for taking my call. I appreciate all your help all the time. Thank you. What's going on, man? My friend is uh, 24, female, and she's been diagnosed with restless leg syndrome with okay. the periodic okay. limb movement disorder okay. when she's sleeping. Okay, here's the deal. Restless leg syndrome, RLS, the latest acronym, one of the latest acronym diseases, nothing more than a nutritional deficiency. It could either be secondary to not getting enough nutrients or secondary to not absorbing nutrients, specifically the B vitamins and electrolyte minerals. Restless legs are caused by by uh, short-circuiting electrical energy in the nerves and in the muscles and the legs. The legs are big muscles. And if you have nutritional deficiencies, especially when you're sleeping, it, uh, it, the muscles in the legs will tend to get a little jittery. The, the electrical energy that fires when your legs contract, when your leg muscles contract, will short circuit. Number one, focus on electrolytic, electrolyte nutrients. That's magnesium, especially magnesium, but also calcium. Potassium is also very important. Uh, sodium and chloride are also important. You'll get uh, all your electrolytes in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine product from Longevity. The Ultimate Classic is also a source of longevity of uh, electrolytes, vegetables, vegetable juices, vegetable soups, great sources of electrolytes. She may want to take some extra magnesium before she goes to bed. That can help. Um, if she uses the Osteomag, have her take three or four of those before she goes to bed at night. Uh, potassium supplements can also help. And then the B-complex is also very important. In fact, it's the combination of these electrolyte nutrients and the B-complex that will help her most with restless leg syndrome. Uh, you can use a B100 capsule or you can get your B-complex in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If it was me, Nigel, I'd be having her sip on the BTT before she goes to bed for an hour or so before she goes to bed. 
Uh, and also she may want to consider taking a B100 capsule. For, for restless leg syndrome, nothing says nutritional deficiency more clearly, more loudly than RLS. You don't need a drug. You don't need a doctor. You don't need a diagnosis. You need electrolytic nutrients, and you need your B-complex, and you want to make sure you're absorbing them. Uh, if you use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or you get your electrolytes in a liquid fashion from vegetable juices and your B-complex in liquid fashion, you don't have to worry about digestion as much because they'll go right to work. And especially, she especially wants to consider using these things before she goes to bed, especially that magnesium, because that'll help her sleep, too. Magnesium's got a nice relaxing effect, okay? B-complex, electrolytes, before she goes to bed, beyond tangy tangerine, uh, vegetable juices, vegetable soups, and especially magnesium right before she goes to sleep. Okay? Does that help you, Nigel? Yeah, thanks so much, Ben. Sure, sure buddy. Take care, man. All right, uh, stay in Canada. Talk to Dan. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. How are you? Doing good. How's it going? Okay. Uh, now it's not going too good. Completely unrelated topic, but I need some help. Okay. Um, I'm actually sitting in the hospital right now oh, um, gosh. with uncomplicated acute appendicitis. Ooh, uh, not good. I'm on IV antibiotics, and they initially wanted to do uh, surgery. Of course, I'm not easily convinced. Uh, since refusing a few days ago, actually, I've been getting better and better every day. Still good. some pain there, but I have Stop no eating. Finish. Well, first okay. of all, you want to stop eating. The appendix is this tiny little, tiny little tube that sticks off of the beginning part of your large intestine. So you eat food, it goes to your stomach, goes into your small intestine. As it passes through the small intestine and nutrients are absorbed, the food then enters into the large intestine. At that point, at that juncture between the small intestine and the large intestine, you've got a little tiny tube that sticks out, and that's called your appendix. The number. I'm sorry, you got to. I'm going to have to. I, I don't know. Is that the hospital that I'm listening to? Uh, oh, he's at the hospital. All right. So uh, anyway, so the biggest cause for uh, appendicitis and uh, in, uh, uh, inflamed appendix is constipation. As food gets clogged in that large intestine and it doesn't and it doesn't go through, it tends to back down, puts pressure on the appendix, and that's where appendicitis comes from. The biggest cause of appendix uh, appendicitis, which is an inflammation of the appendix, is long-term chronic constipation. Hello, Dan. Are you with me, my friend? Yeah, I'm here, and that, that's, that's the weird thing is that's exactly what I don't have. Everything you don't. I eat either turns to gas or loose stool. It could be I gas. Have. No, it could be yeah. gas as well. Gas can put pressure in there too. So it, it, the biggest cause is long-term constipation, but if you have gas, that can cause the same problem. Gas can put pressure, push pressure on the appendix. In any case, it's a digestive health problem. Let me say that again, Dan. Appendicitis is a digestive health condition. That means do all the things we talk about on the bright side to focus on, uh, uh, that allows you to focus on the digestive system. Fasting is the first thing you should do. You shouldn't be eating. That's first and foremost. If you're dealing with an appendix problem, you'll notice that it's starting to improve right uh, as long as you don't have some kind of really acute dangerous condition, which you might. Uh, you'll notice as soon as you start fasting or as soon as you, uh, as soon as you, you fast and stop putting food in your digestive system, you're going to feel better. The second thing you want to do is use probiotics. If they take your appendix, the appendix is a warehouse. It's a storage space for good bacteria. Without an appendix, you will be sacrificing digestive health for the rest of your life. Now, you can still, you, there's still things you could do, but you're like a heavyweight fighter with one arm tied behind your back without an appendix. Don't let them take it unless you have some kind of, you're, it's about to burst. If it bursts, you're in big trouble. So if, you're, if the appendix is about to explode, that's different. But as long as that's not the case, I would keep my appendix and start practicing all the digestive strategies we talk about here on the bright side. Number one, fasting. Number two, probiotics. Number three, focusing on problem foods and then eliminating problem foods. If you have a history of gas, that means something is not digesting properly. Link that up to foods and then eliminate those foods. Use digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes from longevity, lecithin, apple cider vinegar, pancreatin, bile salts, all the things we talk about here on the bright side. Consider it number, uh, primarily, though, Dan, to be a digestive health condition Focus on the digestive system. Don't expect your doctors, don't expect the medical model to help you with your digestive system. What they'll do is take your appendix out and perhaps put you on medication, uh, antibiotics, and drugs, but they're not going to tell you about, your di about the digestive connection. That's something you'll hear on the bright side, and that's something you've got to take care of by yourself. Okay, Dan? Thank you. All right, good. Thanks so much, buddy, and uh, good luck with that. All right, uh, let's go to Connecticut and talk to Lori. What is up? Welcome to the bright side, Lori. Hi, Ben. Thanks for having me on. 
Sure. Um, my son was born with, and I learned this from you on the Alex Jones Show, um, leaky gut and candida. I never heard you mention about candida, but I researched leaky gut, and I came up with um, candida as well because something has to be causing the leaky gut. Now, when I was pregnant with him, I, was, I had a uh, lung infection, and I was given prednisone and okay. antibiotics, and okay. I'm sure that's what caused this problem. He, he was born allergic to everything. He right. had eczema, massive eczema. He had um, just food allergies. and. Did you figure out... And, did, did you figure out the eczema? Do you figure out the foods that are causing the eczema? Yeah, we, we, we ended up pureeing everything he ate, all organic, um, no baby jar food, okay. and that seemed to eliminate a lot of his problems. Um, he, he's on a very limited diet right now. Okay, a couple things. Uh, now, you want help with the leaky gut? How can we help yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I, okay. I, I, I wanted to ask you about the can is, 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 what is causing the leaky gut? And, well, and the leaky, leaky gut is holes that develop in the gut. They're secondary. It could have something to do with the prednisone that you took, but that's, uh, that's water under the bridge can't do anything about that now candida is secondary to problems with bacteria in the gut leaky gut and problems with the digestive system can cause what's called dysbiosis that means bad bacteria overpopulating the gut once bad bacteria overpopulate the gut or once you have problems with your good bacteria then the yeast can overgrow so the first thing you want to do is focus on the digestive system number one he should be eating lots of uh, fermented foods uh, how old is your son He's 21 months, and, and we okay. tried giving him fermented foods, and it seems to aggravate him. Like he'll Well, you'll have to back. find the right kind of fermented foods. Uh, mix them up a little bit. If one doesn't work, try another. Uh, get him on a probiotic supplement. Is yogurt okay? Does he do okay with yogurt? Yeah, he's allergic to dairy. Uh, okay, so he may, ha he may or may not have a problem with yogurt, but uh, give him a little bit. See what happens. Sometimes if you're allergic to dairy, you can still do yogurt. If you can't do yogurt, try, uh, uh, try uh, miso or tempeh or sauerkraut or fermented beets or fermented uh, kimchi or apple cider vinegar, anything fermented. And if he can't do one kind of fermented food, try another. Also get him on a good probiotic supplement. He'll probably have to do a liquid probiotic supplement, and there's a bunch of good ones that are available. Have him doing uh, uh, mucilaginous kinds of foods, things like, uh, or substances, things like the Z-radical from longevity, which can coat the digestive tract. Bone soup. Is he okay with doing chicken soup or bone soup? Uh, yeah, I think so. That would um, be I wonderful. I have a question about, about one of your products, um, the, the Kids Super Life. I, I, I I'm going to order that, and I, I noticed on the back that you have um, a B12 you know, in there. Is Ma'am, you know, Lori, we're out of time. I, I, we only have about 30 seconds. Can you call back tomorrow? If you call back tomorrow, I'll get your first up. Uh, Carl, I, uh, sorry I left you on hold as well. If you guys call back tomorrow, we'll get your first up. And I apologize for doing that to you, but we're just out of time. Thanks so much for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about peptides and the super important antioxidant peptide, probably the body's most important antioxidant, the master antioxidant. And we're, as we continue talking about peptides and bone health, head over to my website, brightsideben.com. Click on the Join the team link and start yourself a longevity business. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds. Just pay shipping right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help. 
immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com MyPatriotSupply.com 